We would like to request Honorable Director, NIT Silchar, Professor Shivaji Bhattopadhyay to hoist our national flag. At the same time, we also urge the audience to rise in honor of national anthem followed by national song. Now, 
Director Sir is inspecting the platoon of Boy Hostel 9B, Vikram Sarabhai Hall. Now, Director Sir is inspecting the platoon of X Servicemen. Now, Director Sir is inspecting the platoon of Civil Security Officers. Now, the Central Commander, Senior Under Officer Devan Shu Cha, will seek permission from the Director NIT Silchar for Parade March. Jai Shimon! Shimon! Oz! NIT Silchar! 55 Chatrai! 17 Sikh Chagar! Tata! 38 Sikh Chavani! Parade Kandi Hitu! Upasthi Jai Shimon! Ijaajat hai! Jai Shimon! Marching right towards the dives with the Central Commander, Senior Under Officer Devan Shu Cha, and the platoon of NCC Senior Division with the platoon commander, Under Officer Ram Tinker Singh, and flag bearer, Sergeant Amaling Kumar. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the platoon of the NCC Senior Division. Is the NCC senior wing platoon, which is marching towards the dives.
We would like to request our director, Professor Shivaji Bondapathya, to address the students. Students, deans, heads of the departments, faculty members, staff members, invited dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and privilege for me to hoist the national flag on the occasion of 75th 
Republic Day of our great nation on behalf of the entire NIT Silsworth fraternity. This year, we have a special contingent from the faculty members as well to commemorate Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, the 75th year of India's independence. My dear friends, today is the day in 1950 when the Indian constitution was gifted to this great country which gave a concrete shape to the rights and the duties of every citizen, every man and woman in the country. Our constitution teaches us to be tolerant, impartial, and law-abiding citizens of the free country. It teaches us how to respect the rights of others while at the same time performing your duty. It teaches us that rights and duties go hand in hand together and one cannot exist without the other. My dear friends, today on this great day, when we stand before our magnificent country, we ask ourselves the question, what can I give to my great nation? What can we give to our great nation? With this, I wish to conclude my speech here. Joy him. A cultural act that symbolizes the milestones achieved by India will be performed now. Parnas Santu, the third entrant from India to win Miss Universe, was born in the village of Kohali in Gurdaspur district, Punjab, on 3 March 2000. Previously crowned Miss Diva 2021, Sandhu received the right to represent India at Miss Universe 2021 and got eventually crowned as the winner. The competition was held on 13 December 2021 in Israel. A junior commissioned officer in the Indian Army, Nidal Chopra, was born to Satish Kumar and Saroj Devi on 25 December 1997 in Pandra village, Panipat district, Haryana. As of 2021, he is one of the only two Indians to have won an individual Olympic gold medal as well as the youngest ever Indian Olympic gold medalist in an individual event and the only one to have won gold in his Olympic debut. Supersonic cruise missile has the capability of attacking surface targets by flying as low as 5 meters in altitude and the maximum range it can fly is 15,000 meters. It can gain a speed of Mach 3.5 and has a maximum range of 650 kilometers but India plans to eventually upgrade all missiles to a range of 1500 kilometers. India and Russia intend to make 2,000 Brahmos missiles over the next 10 years through their joint venture company and nearly 50% of them are expected to be exported to friendly countries. The COVID-19 pandemic has led to a dramatic loss of human life worldwide and presents an unprecedented challenge to public health, food systems and the world of work. 
In this time for global solidarity and support, India presented its first ever indigenous COVID-19 vaccine by Bharat Biotech. It is developed in collaboration with the Indian Council of Medical Research and National Institute of Virology. It is a two-dose vaccination regimen given 28 days apart. Covaxin is a vaccine with no sub-zero storage, no reconstitution required, and already to use liquid presentation in multi-dose vials stable at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. The vaccine received DCG approval for phase 1 and 2 human clinical trials in July 2020. As of January 19, 2022, 217.3 million Covaxin doses have been administered in India. The train 18, later named Vande Bharat Express, was rolled out by Integral Coach Factory ICF under the Indian government's Make in India initiative. The semi-high-speed intercity EMU train flagged off for an inaugural run by Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi on 15 February 2019. Train 18 was ready to write a new chapter in the history books of Indian Railways with the commercial services beginning from New Delhi to Varanasi from 17 February 2019. After the success of the first two services, ICF received the approval to manufacture 45 new Vande Bharat train sets by 2021-22 when India celebrates its 75 years of independence. According to ICF, the manufacturing cost of the train 18 is approximately half the cost of a similar imported train set. The train is equipped with features like fully automated doors, onboard Wi-Fi access, onboard food facility, bio vacuum toilets and much more that allow the passengers to enjoy a hassle-free train journey. personnel were martyred during the attack and an additional of 19 to 30 soldiers were reported to have been injured. At the time of the attack, the Kashmir Valley region was the center of unrest. Security around the installation in Uri was intensified following the attack. On 24 September, Prime Minister Narendra Modi formally responded to the attack rally during a rally in Kerala. In his address, he charged Pakistan with the responsibility for the attack, saying that India would never forget Uri and would leave no stone unturned to isolate Pakistan in the world. On 28 September, 11 days after the attack, the Indian Army conducted retaliatory surgical strikes on large pads used by terrorists in Pakistan-administered Kashmir. The Economist, while citing Indian reports, reported that Indian commandos crossed the line of control and struck at the safe houses, allegedly killing approximately 150 Pakistan-sponsored terrorists. to present the award to Boys Hostel 1. A token of appreciation for Girls Hostel 3. Next, we would like to request Honorable Director NIT Silcher to present the faculties. My dear students, before we conclude today's program, in a today's parade, one girls team and four boys team has participated. We have given trophies to the girls and one boys team. So for the three other boys team, because of the of their participation, we will give them a special mention trophy as well. Thank you. Here, we would like to add that to continue promoting awareness about blood donation like all previous years, this year too, NIT Silcher is organizing a voluntary blood donation camp on the occasion of Republic Day celebration at NIT Silcher in association with Blood Bank, Kachar Cancer Hospital and Research Center, Silcher. This Republic Day, let us make India proud by donating blood. 
With this, we come to an end to the celebrations of the 73rd Republic Day. Thank you. Jai Hind.